Hi, this is Kevin Archer with Avaya's Emerging Products and Technology Group. Today we will cover the APS CMS Connectors WebLM interface. Downloading and installing a license file via PLDS is covered in other Avaya Mentor videos. You can search for that on YouTube. Um, once you download the XML file, this is what it will look like. You can see that the name is APS CMS Connectors. Uh, it has some notes about when the license was generated and who the license owner is. The name APS CMS Connectors, the version number, and each of the features that are licensed and the number of licensed features. In order to see what CMS connector interfaces you are licensed to use, you can log into your WebLM server if it's a version 6.3, it's IP address port 8443. If it's a version 7.0 of WebLM server, it's IP address port 52233. Type your username and password. Once you log in on the left hand side, you'll see a list of licensed products. Click on the APS CMS connectors. This will show you what licensed features you have. You'll notice <clears throat> they all start with value, ACMS, and then the name of the feature. So in this case, TCS Historical Additional Sessions, or TCS Historical for this license. You'll also be able to see if it's an expiring license or permanent. You'll see the licensed capacity and the number that are currently used. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see a list of acquired licenses. It will have the feature name, in this case, value ACMS Admin Sync, and the MAC address of the CMS that acquired that license. That is useful for troubleshooting which CMS has acquired which license. And then here you'll also see the count of the number of licenses that have been acquired. In order to download the WebLM interface software, you must first log into PLDS. Once you're logged in, click on View Downloads. Type in your company name. Click Search Companies. Select the company name. Scroll down and you will see a drop-down for application. Select APS CMS connectors. Click Search Downloads. Here you will see a list of all of the CMS connectors that you are entitled to download. You'll notice the ACMS WebLM interface is downloadable by anybody who, who can log into PLDS. So click on the download link. A new window will pop up. And you can click here to download your file directly. The name of the file will be WebLM underscore, and then the release number, in this case it's 1.0.20, but that can be updated quite often, dot zip. Once you have the zip file downloaded, you'll see that it contains installation instructions, release notes, and the software that needs to be copied up to the CMS server. Once you copy the WebLM zip file to the customer's CMS server, 
place that file in the forward slash temp directory and then you can issue these commands unzip and the name of the file you'll notice it creates three files the software which is a tar.bz2 installation.txt and release notes.txt you're welcome to tail the release notes to look at the most recent modifications at the same time I recommend always looking at the installation instructions that come with the software that's where the latest install instructions will be following the instructions in this file step number one copy the software to the customer CMS step number two log in as root and copy the files to pserve if you have putty it's nice because you can cut and paste between windows in order to install the interface you must first be unzip2 and untar the software you'll notice there's an install in all capitals and a weblm.tar you run the install script it will ask you for your name a ticket number or a comment and you'll see that the install script creates a home directory export home pserve weblm unpacks the archive fixes all the file permissions and then runs the CMS cleanup script I highly recommend waiting until the end of all of your install software to run this script so in this case I'm going to choose no you'll notice that the next step on the left hand side here is to add the WebLM server to the host file step number five run the menu and add the cron entry using the verify cron tab entry item you'll notice we're in the export home pserve weblm directory in this menu you can see display installed licenses show the license status add a license modify remove run the renew now verify the cron tab entry check the weblm server status list weblm error codes number seven is what we want so this tells us there is no old cron tab entry and then it will add this new cron tab entry so i choose yes and now weblm is installed CMS connector WebLM licenses are administered directly on the CMS server as the root user change to the export home pserve WebLM directory and run dot forward slash menu most of these items are fairly self-explanatory I will show you how to add a license remove a license and modify a license so choose option number three enter the full product name you'll notice this note all of these entries are case sensitive enter the exact feature name this has to match the feature name in the WebLM server enter the full URL of the WebLM server this could be either the IP address or the host name if it's resolvable via either the Etsy host file or DNS you'll notice for most of these 
items you can just choose the default if it matches in this case it does so I'll just choose the default enter the number of instances to request for most connectors this is one for a main feature and then the number of additional sessions above one for each additional session that you need it will display the license information once you verify that it's correct then you can say yes I do want to continue and it will add that license to the WebLM interface now you can choose option number one and it will display all of the licenses that have been added to this interface option number two show status will show the last time the license was verified with the WebLM server and then the feature name so in our case we're talking about admin sync this was last verified on March 13th 2017 option number four modify license say the WebLM server changed or you need to modify the number of sessions what you can do is use this menu no I don't want to modify this uh, no I don't want to modify the URL yes I do want to modify the number of instances from one to two it asks you to confirm so I choose yes item number five is remove a license you choose which license from the list of installed licenses it asks you if you are sure you must confirm yes item number six allows you to request a license renewal immediately you can either choose one to request a renewal of all the licenses or you can pick a specific one in this case CMS real-time you'll notice that it reaches out to the WebLM server and requests a renewal in this case it's telling us error license exception the product is not found uh, there's a list of all of the exceptions and a description in the menu under item 9 so if I choose item 9 and I go look at the code 1 that was returned it says product not found that's an indication that the product is not licensed on this WebLM server so I would recommend checking the WebLM server that it has the correct license you can also um, view the log directly from in this menu but you'll notice on the left hand side I've been tailing the log uh, throughout this video so you can see the information that is written to the log it does have the standard uh, levels of logging like info error and warning so you can easily grep those out if needed and then Q to exit the menu thank you for your time today we welcome comments questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.